Okay, so the first part of this event is a drink. It's a margarita. They did half with salt, half with none. I think it's a habanero salt. It's got some kick to it. Mm. It's a really nice traditional margarita. Yeah. It's a good one. Nice you? There we go. It's a good one. It's a good margarita. Although we are debating on the salt rim, and they give us half and half, which is good if you didn't want it. Um, maybe a salt, smoked salt, or a habanero salt. I didn't get too much on the spice. And then Michelle said it might be ants. Well, I started <laughs> yeah, with that. Did. Because they actually do have a rimmed drink that does have ants in it. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, the Pina Loca has a, a black ant salt rum. Rim. Ginger pineapple juice. Seagull mezcal. Anchore has chili liqueur and black ant salt rim. They do. Uh, yes, this is the welcome drink. We haven't even gone in yet. They make these for you before they bring you into the event. Yeah, it's 3.09, so we're, we're starting the event. Uh, we will see how much they're going to let us film. Hopefully they will let us do a lot so you guys can learn about stuff. So excited. Yeah, I'm going to drink this because it's big. It is big. I hope that I can be able to share my culture and my traditions to this amazing experience. What about you? Tell me maybe a little longer. Like 20, between 20 Around 20 to 25 20 years. years. Yeah. Wow. So maybe the age of one of these tequilas. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going to be this experience? Well, First thing, we are going to understand how tequila is produced okay. through this beautiful mural. I will explain you what is behind a beautiful bottle. So, because we have the bottle, but behind that we have tradition and culture. After we understand how tequila is produced, we are going to have a tequila tasting, which is just very simple. We are going to open our senses to perceive color, flavor, and aroma. I hope that you enjoy everything. On one hand, I love tequila. On the other hand, I love Disney. I am a Disney lover, so please have fun, enjoy everything. We have some fresh guacamole that you can enjoy during the presentation. And the key to success is water, so please drink water, okay? <laughs> I am from Tequila, Mexico. So let's start talking where is Tequila, Mexico. Tequila is a beautiful city that is located between Guadalajara and Puerto Vallarta. Only takes 45 minutes from the big city and three hours from Puerto Vallarta. In my town, we have 60,000 people living in the town. Remember Epcot, before COVID, used to fit like 80,000 guests in New Year's Eve. So it's impressive, but I always compare my whole town can fit in Epcot in New Year's Eve, for example. <laughs> In Mexico, we have more than 200 different agaves, but only one is used to produce tequila. The reason is because we have a certification that says only in Fanfest Testro, Mexico, we are allowed to produce tequila for the appellation of origin. Which means that only in Jalisco, Michoacán, Guanajuato, Nayarit, and Tamaulipas, we can produce tequila. Okay. That's it. The second thing to understand is that the agave looks like a cactus, but it's not a cactus, it's a flower, it's a lily flower. Oh! Yes! So this agave needs 7 to 10 years to get this mature. Once we, under we wait all, like 7 to 10 years, we start doing the hima, which is the activity that consists in cut all the leaves, leaving the agave free from the pencas. Because to produce tequila, only we need the center that looks like a big pineapple. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, and after like seven to ten years, we remove the leaf, the leaf stays in the agave field for fertilizer, and then we transfer the parts, the pineapple, we call it pineapple because they look like a pineapple. Right. Yeah, yeah. We transfer to the distilleries because it's important to, detect, uh, to start with cooking or baking, we need to cook the agave. This process lasts 30 hours, and only we use a steam for the process. After 30 hours, we obtain the agave that is good with different characteristics. The first one will be the color. The, what? The color. The color. Before is white, after is brown. Okay. The consistency before is like a big potato, after the baking is like a pineapple, it's soft. Oh, nice. But the most important thing is that we need to obtain the juice, el jugo. To produce tequila, only we need the juice. That's why the second process should be the milling process. 
The milling consists in squeeze the agaves to separate the juices from the fiber. As you can see, that is the old traditional process where the tahun and the stone were circulated by this donkey with the idea of squishing the agaves to separate the juices from the fiber. Once we have the juices, now we continue with the fermentation. The acid is in the sugar is in After that, we continue with the distillation. That this tequila that I want to spend inside the barrel. Okay. Any questions in here? So, you, so the longer it stays in the barrel, that's yes. going to be the blanco Blanco reposado, añejo, extrañejo. Okay. Yes. And it, just because I know my friend's going to ask me, is mezcal related to agave? It's like agave yes. Specific. In Mexico, we have 200 different agaves. One specific is for blue agave, uh, for tequila. And I, I will talk about mezcal a little, a little later. Right. So that way, three characteristics are going to be different between them. Okay. <laughs> they just said mean things. They said they drank without me and then they laughed. <laughs> remember these faces. Remember the, all right, remember the man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Let's start talking about the five tequilas that we can obtain from the same agave, which is just one blue agave, okay? okay. After the distillation process, tequila needs no more than two months to uh, be inside the barrel. To be blanco, silver, clear, crystalline, we need to wait no more than two months. The first tequila that we are going to enjoy is called ancestral. Ancestral means old-fashioned. Okay. Which means that this is the tequila that is still keep the ancestral process, the traditional process, which is that one. With the burro. Yes, okay. With the burro, yes. <laughs> they also uh, use a specific cooking process where they have the ovens under the ground, where they cook the agaves under the ground, where the agaves touch the fire for like three days. Wow. After opening the ovens, what is going to be the aroma and the flavor is smoky. So this is a very similar tequila like mezcal. Okay, mezcal. It's also 100% of agave. 100% of agave means that they were using only sugar from the agave plant. Okay. okay. Before, when you don't see 100, or long time ago it used to be like a tequila misto, which means 51% is agave sugars and 49% is cane sugar. Oh. Okay, it's like a pistol, like Jose Cuervo. That specific tequila is good, maybe for a margarita, two margaritas. But okay. my recommendation, if you're gonna do a tasting or a sipping tequila, just find out the 100% of agave, which is much better. So one person can perceive at least 30, 30 different aromas per tequila. Everything that you are gonna perceive is based on your memories. Okay, based on that's based on you. That's why when I smell tequila, my first aroma coming from tequila Mexico is agave. Okay. Okay, but for you, whatever you perceive will be perfectly okay. And will be different from you and from you because it's all about memories, it's all about experiences. Okay. okay. The first thing that we are gonna do, everyone has this little shot glass, right? Yes. yes. Could you please have a sip and tell me what it is? It was vodka. She, she's, she's scamming us here. It's the agave vodka experience. No, the reason that we are using vodka is because we need plain alcohol to open the palate, to open yep. the taste. We don't want to punish this, yes. Now, believe it or not, the palate is ready, the taste is ready. It's time for us to hold the first tequila glass that is from left to right. Izquierda a derecha. Okay, the first characteristic to perceive will be the color. With the color, we can perceive if the tequila is clean, that is, it doesn't have anything inside from the process, so I see that it's clean. What about if we swirl the glass a little bit? And we stop. Now we perceive this specific Oh, there are the legs. That is called body, and the other lines are called tears or legs. Tears or legs, okay. Yeah. If you see this beautiful body, tears and legs represent that the tequila has a really good process. Talking about the aromas, especially with this tequila glass, we can perceive two different, three different aromas. The first one is located outside the rim center. 
He said I'm my strong alcohol. Yeah. Because he said I'm alcohol from the tequila process. You move the glass a little forward like that. These aromas below to the That's the smoke. The smoke and the and, and sometimes the, the the sweetness. It can be from the agave cook and when it's aged it comes from the bear. Okay. So for this is a tequila glass. So we understand that we can perceive three aromas that are located first, lower bowl, and then second alcohol and then the third one. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. Really good, right? I, I don't like the alcohol smell. It's very alcoholy. Like it's, oh, no. I literally pulled my face back on it. It's very strong. Well, it is. Now for the taste, we have different options, but the first one will be having a little sip, wait the tequila four seconds in the middle of your pan. And then if you would like, you can move it side to the other side for four seconds. After four seconds, you can swallow and then breathe out. Without. It sounds like a very difficult activity. May I do it first? Absolutely. I love we my want the, We want the artists to do it right. We, we need proof. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love my job. <laughs> Forget about smoky, forget about citrus. Now let's focus on cinnamon, caramel, and vanilla. Oh, that works for me. Like, yeah, I remember that you yeah. did. <laughs> I, I just want to take off the bottle. It is a very pretty bottle. This is a, before to get the, into the information about Glacia Azul, we have a cinnamon stick. Yes. Could you please take the cinnamon stick and smell it? <laughs> You can remember one specific item like this, or you can remember one specific experience, like Christmas, like, uh, I don't know, when I was eating uh, rice pudding or yeah, like, cookie. Yeah. But this one is very balanced. It's Clase Azul Reposado, rested from two months to one year. It's 100% of agave. Hold your second glass and let's do the tasting. All right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, solo vender. Brida. I see. That's a lot of smoke when you breathe out. Yeah. The second will be a sip. Just have a little sip and then don't wait to swallow. Swallow, don't wait for seconds. Maybe the characteristic will be different. We'll see. Much more for me, better for me to handle. The other, uh, uh, so I have um, like whiskeys and scotches and things. I can't, um, the, the, the oak in them actually burns my tongue, it hurts. And this one is very pleasant. When I, when I did the swirl in my mouth, it hurt, but when I swallowed, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Surprised by the different flavors during the different parts of the taste. Yeah. I liked the tongue and I liked the swish back and forth, but then going back down, I'm not big on smoke. So yeah. the end process for me was not my favorite. But breathing out, I was, was I could feel, the, it was like a yeah. huge smoke. Yeah. Yeah. And then with right the here, yeah, yeah, that was very cool. <coughs> yeah. It's time for us to clean your palate with water or vodka in your face. Oh, I already went to the, the water, so I'm good. Because there's a lot more tequila coming, so, you know. Now, let me talk about this beautiful bottle, this beautiful tequila. No more caramel, no more vanilla. Yes, let's talk about this. I have a hundred different bottles in the tequila display. Everyone pretty much tastes the same. Every every time like for example next time that we order Clase Azul Reposado take the same forever and ever the beautiful thing about Santanera is this tequila is produced by batch by lot oh, wow. by terroir I can say 2,000 bottles I could to mention a, no, a number coming from this specific agave field wow so this is almost gone next time that you still buy the next batch is coming which is called piedra yeah wow. it's gonna taste different it looking good dif looking different i'm sorry because the agaves are gonna be from a different terroir from a different batch 
I like this because I think that this is it's like wine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the specific territory, yeah. right? So he put music, Mozart music, inside the aging process. Oh my god. But also he noticed, uh, talking about like chemistry, that if we put uh, the music, the molecules, and everything is gonna give you a different flavor, like more flavor and more aroma. The psychology of tequila, I like yes. that. Let's smell this. I see this beautiful bottle. The color is amazing. I am 100% sure that they sometimes the killers they are allowed to add like caramel or something to standardize the flavor forever and ever. But because see, this is unique by batch, it's just like natural color coming from the barrel. Okay. So what about the aroma? So we smelled. It's much more mellow than the other one. I'm gonna go sip left, right, and then swallow. Very balanced. Very smooth. Yeah. This, one's mine. <laughs> this is lovely. That is lovely. Oh, second sip on okay. this one. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Once more. The flavor may change. Yeah. Now it's smoother. It's yeah. just like water in the throat. Yes, you get to see yourself this time so I don't have to turn it around. Yes, I have to say that this group is amazing. <laughs> if we do say so ourselves. <laughs> Three tequilas and they are going to speak Spanish. Hola. <laughs> you already do, yes? Si, un poquito. Tequila that the people in Mexico used to drink. Uh, it was a horn. It, this is a history before being a tequila glass. Okay. okay. It was a horn, and then Ray used the gourd, and then regular clay glass. So glass, and when tequila becomes super popular and sophisticated, they wanted to uh, use and create the glass with the purpose of sipping tequila. Okay. So next tequila is called Extrañejo. Here, two months to one year. I'm sorry, uh, one day to two months, two months to one year, one to three years. This is more than three years inside the barrel. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say at one day? One day to two months. Yes, after the distillation process okay. to two months. Okay. Yeah, that is blank. I was thinking it spends a day in the barrel when I put it in the barrel. Uh, Okay. <laughs> it's just like they, they, the time is just like two months. Okay. Yes, but that one in specific was not inside the barrel. Okay. Yes, it's straight from distillation to the bottle. Okay. And actually, it's one of, it's also a, a little strong. It has more alcohol than the others. It's 50.2, okay. which okay. is like 104. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Usually they are 80 proof. Okay. <laughs> For this tequila, we wanted to enjoy a beautiful chocolate flavor. Okay. We can smell it, we can taste it. Let's see if the balance of this tequila below will be low to the chocolate. So the cho All right, so yes. we have our chocolate now. Okay. It's dark chocolate, so have a little bite. Remember that it's all about senses. Okay, friends, hold your glass. All right, number four. As you can see, we have a beautiful amber color, the same, the same as the name. This is amber. amber. Oh, wow, yeah, I guess the white plate, you can see it. I see it. the body, I see the shears and legs, but they last longer. Yeah, oh, because nice. This, uh, when tequila is a lot of time inside the barrel, the barrel becomes, the tequila becomes a like heavier. Okay, hey, so the front. That's a beautiful smell. Ooh, that's again that gets accurate in my nose. Wow, I like that first. It's a little bit. Uh, the front, the front is beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. The first. It's smoother than the other one, I guess. It burns me more than the second one does. Me too. Eh? Yeah. It's, it's, I have that, but that let's see if the second sip. That's what I'm yes. curious about. Yes. Let's give it another opportunity. That's awesome. <laughs> Sanolis, we have Casa de Aragones. I don't know if you know about this bottle. This bottle is a blend of two tequilas. It was created with Blanco and Extra Edge. Two tequilas oh. in one. Okay. Like they remove the color in a filtration process, leaving the characteristics of two tequilas, but without color. 
is 100% of agave and you can find out with Hoven. If you see a brand in the label that say Hoven represents a blend of two or three tequilas. Okay. You will be impressed with this one because it's very unique. So first of all, the color. The color, uh, compared with the, with the blancos, this is just like cristalino, like super clear. This is a beautiful silver color. So it's the same thing. It's going to be like a... Okay. Smell the vanilla cherry. I almost don't smell anything okay. at the liquor part, the alcohol one, the middle one. It's really light. It's very light. It's also like, like the, the aroma of the chocolate that I just had is there. If you perceive something different, you can express it now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I smell that cherry after you said that. I was like, yes, yeah, I smell the cherry. Nice. Okay, so now we're doing first sip. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's flowers and citrus. But this is very original. It's def it's yeah, it's fruit, it's light. Even the alcohol smell, you still get that little bit of a height burn, but it's it's just you smell it's bright, it's almost summery. It's got that lightness that you would get from, from yeah. like a fruit salad, a citrus, it's, something uh, like that. It's, 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 it doesn't smell like any yeah. So tell me about the flavor. I'm getting pear. With On the top, I'm getting pear. Pear, see, it has green pear, yes. It does. And apple, green apple, and pear. Yes, got apples and pears. Okay. okay. So tell me if you perceive honey in the middle of your tongue. Mm -hmm. yes. Sweeter. Oh, yeah. At the end, right at the very end, yeah. We're going to do the second sip. That's where I get the sweet. When you swallow it at the end, that's where the sweet. You can do a pose. You can get a salute. Salute. Thank you for remembering. I always do. I'll explain that in a minute. It's very mild, it's very sweet, it's very, it's not too sweet like this one. But We're toasting glasses. Yes, well, I can tell yes, the plot. Yes. Um, so I, when I went to, was it Amsterdam? Uh -huh. um, they talk about the concept of get seven, which is when they, they give you a drink in a bar that will always just overfill it, so it kind of bubbles up over the glass. The first sip, you're not supposed to put, use your hands, you're supposed to trace down and take a sip from it. The concept being their joy, their, their welcome is so overflowing that you can't control it, you can't hold it. The other thing that they taught me is that when you toast, you know, most Americans just, they toast and they toast the glasses. But in the other countries, when you toast, you make eye contact. Yes, because it's the connection. Exactly. exactly. In America, they're like, no eye contact, just hit the glass. No, but it's so. Like a, like, like the connection, the, yeah. the, the joy, yeah. everything that you can perceive, person to person. Right. It's not used yet. It's not so, when I click glasses, I try to make eye contact with people. It doesn't happen very much in this country, <laughs> but we try to click glasses with people. Okay, second sip. Yeah. And they all have a different purpose. Oh my god, that's so nice. <laughs> it's nice. It's, it's good to know that you Okay, this one is dangerous because you don't really feel like you're drinking alcohol. It's a little bit of light and a little bit of fruit and a whole lot of danger. Got one more to sip and try, so let's find out more about it. Tequila is made with only blue agave, only one agave. Mezcal can be produced with more than 30 different agaves. Remember that in Mexico there's a big family, more than 200, so in here it's more than 30 per plant, per, per bottle. Second characteristic, denomination of origin. Tequila comes from five states from Mexico. Mezcal, the main state will be Oaxaca. Oaxaca? Yeah, okay. different part of Mexico. And the other act that I can say that I really like is that in mezcal there's not a lot of technology involved of the process, in the process, which means that the cooking process is still inside the ovens, inside the land, when the agave touches the fire. So that's why mezcal is a little bit smoky. Okay. Okay. 
99% of mezcal is a smoky, so you only have two options. You love mezcal or you don't love mezcal. Okay. In here, it's if you don't like blanco, you have four more options. Mezcal is uh, pretty much you need to light the smoky because it's, uh, it's one of the main characteristics related to this experience. Not for sale. It was created just for the 10th anniversary. They use 10 agaves, so gracias a Dios, it's a beautiful brand of mezcal that just create this for us. It's not for sale, as you can see, this is La Cava team. And it was, uh, it, there's only a few bottles left because it's just for us, but I, that's why we wanted to share it with you because it represents the 10th anniversary for this amazing place that we love so much. Sorry Drew, SOL. We traveled to Oaxaca and we noticed that people in Oaxaca drink mezcal using grasshoppers. So next thing to do is eat your grasshoppers like a chip and then shut up mezcal and then finish with the orange. Okay, grasshoppers, mezcal and orange. So no way for seconds, this is no mezcal tasting. <laughs> You can shoot it and speak Spanish after. Okay. Okay, so this is the guacamole, which we can't have, unfortunately, being gluten free. But it's got good chunks of avocado and she can eat it. This is why you bring an omnivore. Yep. So. It looks like it's really good. Very purest one. Yeah. I'm giving you a chip with some on it. The, the other and one, I won't. Your, she you can. can. You can use your finger to scoop off without touching the chip? No. Okay. Let her do that. That's fine. Um, what I may ask her is there's a fork or if we can put it in a container to go. Because if she could give us a container to go, we can come up with any of that crispy stuff back in the room. Oh, that's true. We got all those. We have all those crunchies. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep dipping my chips in it. Just go for it. I don't give a crap. See? You know, it's probably really, really good guacamole. All right, so out of all of the tequilas, which is your favorite? Well, I had a second sip of this one, but that's because it's more chocolate involved. Okay, so you're the chocolate kind of the chocolate. I like this one. I like that one. I like that one. The middle three. Yes. This was really, really strong. That's, yeah, that was yeah. painful. And this one is nice, but it's not as nice. It's fascinating to me. Each one, I said, I, each one was good, and it kept getting better. Yeah. And then I got to this one, and I'm like, but... Okay, it's really unusual. I think yeah. that's why it's at the end. All right, for you, what was your favorite? Number two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then number four. And the middle one. Okay. Yeah, that can go away. Yeah. For me, um, number two is probably my favorite. It's the sweetest one, I know. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to go against these guys, and I'm going to say the citrus one at the end was probably my number two. Then number four, then number three, and then number one, no. Actually... Then number one, then the mezcal. Sorry, Drew. Okay, I'm, I'm retasting. I didn't even include the mezcal. I'm not going to. Yeah, I know. That's, that's all about Drew. Well, he can do it. It's that citrus that it's just really, it's not necessarily a crazy flavor, but it's fascinating. It's a bad one. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's a very yeah. nice. The crickets are incredibly smoky on their own. Like when I didn't finish the mezcal, then maybe they got mushed with the mezcal. Why am I showing her? Maybe they got mushed with the mezcal because when I went to try, I, I, try, I had still had cricket in my mouth and it was so smoky when I tried to swallow it. So it was crazy. All right. Oh, that's really good. To, to say. Avocado is first. Avocado. Ah. Can we get more of those cool glasses she can't break? <laughs> yeah. Everyone I know raves about it. Yes. I've had it's it at a different it's restaurant. It's got the same salt on it that that had. Well, it's the not ant salt. We found yeah, that the out. one I'm getting might be ant salt, but we don't know. The black magic. Okay. That would not surprise me at all. With yeah. Neil. Yeah. Can everyone I know raves about this? Can't do it without the salt. Such a salt. Oh, it's good. That is not at all what I expected. It was incredibly refreshing. Okay. And light. It looks like a pureed avocado. Yes. It is not that viscous. No. At all. It was mostly ice. And that is lovely. Well, I have had an avocado margarita. 
at Kura's in South Austin. It's my favorite restaurant there, by the way, in Austin. Um, and they're known for their avocado margaritas as well, so let's see. And the great salt for it, too. What, the salt is good or not? That salt is the right salt for it. Ooh, see? What are you afraid of? Yeah. Very different from the one in Texas. Oh, that's good. But you're right. It's very light. There's in Texas a little bit thicker. Okay. There's other flavors going on too. Good. Avocado margarita. It smells green, like grass green, before you sip it. I don't mind the salt too much on it. It is very refreshing. Too much green grass for me though. You gotta get that one. Alright. But it's good, but it's like blood orange. Alright. Shall we do the blood orange and save the black the famous one for last? Blood orange. <laughs> That one's a very clean flavor. This is more of a traditional margarita flavor. That is very nice. I, I, I think I might like the avocado one better. But orange now. That's some salty salt. Okay, that's all I can taste. Let me try again. Very much sweeter. Um, I'm thinking more like a sweet tart. So, so far I like the avocado one better as well. One salt, one without salt. I'm not a salt fan, so let's see what it is. Yeah, salt. see, we are both like salt. Yeah, salt. <laughs> both salt. And it makes it more sour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sweetheart, you're right. You're right. Black magic. No salt. I already like it more. <laughs> it's it's not what you're gonna expect. It's really interesting. I like it. Oh, it's not what you're going to expect. Did you already say who created it? Uh, this was created by Neil Patrick Harris. He's a legend, wait for it, dairy. <laughs> Which means I'm going to like it already. <laughs> yeah. It's not what you expect. Ha! Huh. Alright, you guys are killing me. I don't think we should describe it. I think people just need to come experience it. I think you're right. <laughs> no. I think you're right. This is amazing. It is also the most expensive margarita they make. But it's not what you expect. No, it is not. But I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, my order. True, true. You saved the day, and you didn't even know it. Um, so, because we couldn't eat the guacamole with the chips because they weren't safe, we asked if we could get some of the guac from the table to go, and she gave us a whole new, like, hot, large coffee cup size cup of guacamole to take back to the room. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Here we show you. That is filled to the rim with guacamole. And it's good guacamole. Um, we've got crunchies in the room, so we're going to do that. We have tried all of the margaritas, um, plus the classic one we had to start. We've got bottles of water to go with this. I have not finished my tequila or my chocolate. This was really good. So you get a margarita coming in. You get a margarita at the end. You taste... You get a sip of vodka or a shot of vodka if you want it. Five tequilas of a decent, like probably a one ounce pour, and an ounce of mezcal. It's significant. It's a lot of stuff. Um, 
Yeah, uh, 150 bucks a person with the tax included. It was 186.57. As an FYI, the person doing this for you, uh, they put, I guess, a service charge into it, but they don't actually tip the, the person who's giving you the class. You can tip them in cash, but any tip you put on the bill goes to the restaurant, but it doesn't go to the person who's just done all the work for you. So if you decide to do this and you like your tequila de sommelier, your tequila expert, go ahead and make sure that you put um, that, that you can tip in cash, give them a little something extra. Um, it was 150 per person, like I said, 186 for the stuff on it, but this was exceptional. I never knew that that mural was the entire history of making tequila. The food is good, the, 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 the alcohol is good, all of the drinks are quality. If you've liked any of the stuff from the, the agave experience or the agave del tequila. Also, and this was the biggest high for me, and if anybody who's been in this place in a while, you, you may or may not understand, but my margarita came in a glass glass. Long story about that one. I'll see if I share it with you later, but... Uh, yeah, so this made me happy because that's how I remember this place. Now, they still don't have a great food menu anymore, but exceptional food. Wonderful, wonderful. God, love this stuff. Just love it. And it works really well because we're going to Frontera Cucina for dinner tonight, so we're already in the right frame of food mind. This is great, guys. This was relaxing and lovely, and and I have a black magic margarita. It's it's like blackberries and mint with spice, and I'll have to get a picture of the menu stuff and let y'all know. But awesome, awesome. Yeah, ain't cheap, but it's a great experience, guys. I absolutely recommend it. So if you have enjoyed this video, if it's helped you learn a little bit about tequila and mezcal and all of the wonderful things here at the Cava, if you want to enjoy this, you want to share it with somebody else, please hit that thumbs up button so it shares it so everyone else knows about it. Please remember to like this video and uh, um, tell your friends about it and, and let them know how uh, if you like it and to share it. And I said that already because tequila is really good. And... Um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?